There are 39 rock tombs in Bani Hassan in Elminia, located 245 kilometers south of Cairo. They extend in a very long row along the face of the rock, commanding a magnificent view of the Nile, the cultivated land, and the distant western mountains. The reliefs inscribed on the walls of these tombs that depict the daily life of the governors of Elminia makes these tombs one of the important necropolis that are situated between Cairo and Luxor. III in Beni Hassan in Elminia is distinguished with its famous wrestling scenes that has reached 255 in number. Bakr III was governor of Minaid Khufu, which name was transformed into Elminia, the name of this governorate now. The artist inside this tomb has relieved the most ancient and complete scenes of physical sports in Egypt, in addition to daily life in amazing details. The tomb of Bakr III is a tomb number 15 among the 39 tombs of Bani Hassan, totally cut out into the rocks of the mountains that overlook the eastern bank of the Nile. It comes as one of the tombs of a family of rulers that ruled as governors of the gnomes of Middle Egypt during the Middle Kingdom. The tomb has a direct entrance without an outer vestibule like the neighboring tombs. It's followed by a square hole with a vaulted ceiling. Its eastern edge is divided by two broken papyri columns. As for the eastern side that faces the entrance, a small chapel was cut into its walls. There are seven burial shafts in the tomb of Bucket. The wall at the right side of the entrance have daily life scenes, the most important of which is a scene of pressing grape to make wine. It depicts the workers standing bare feet in a basin filled with grape, with bars of wood above their heads to hold on to. The holes in the basin allow the juice to flow outside in special canals to be collected later and placed in very soft linen and squeezed to purify it from shells. Then they are placed in jars and stored in special storages. Here, there are scenes of baking bread and pies and making inventory on Bucket's possessions. Also of making pottery and metals, an agricultural work. Another important scene represents the procession of Bucket. That's when his statue was placed in a wooden shrine and dragged by ropes to the tomb. The dragmen clapped their hands during the operation of dragging, and that's an exclusive ritual in Elminia rock tombs, never to be seen in any other city in Egypt. On the eastern side of the wall of Bakr III tomb, we see the famous wrestler scene. Here, the Egyptian artist recorded 254 wrestling action, each different from the other. Each couple is painted in dark brown and light reddish beige to differentiate accurately between them and show their movement clearly. This reflects how the Egyptian cared about sports and excelled in its practice. The fitness of the bodies of these young men can pass unnoticed and emphasize the magnificent ability of the artist 
to bring out their emotions, which are not only different in each couple, but also difficult to be portrayed, counted, and symmetrically painted with exact equal proportions of the bodies and of the scene as a whole. from? My name is Estella. I'm from Canada. Oh, welcome to Egypt. Thank you. Thank you. So uh, what have you seen so far? Is this your first time? Yes, it's my first time and I've loved every moment of it. I have a tour guide called Dina. She's perfect. That's my name by the way. Oh, <laughs> good to meet you Dina as well. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, she took me first to see the pyramids. I went inside the large one, the big one. In Cheops. Yeah, and I was terrified. There's a, a man by the name of Muhammad. He teaches tennis or tour, uh, take tournaments of tennis. He helped me go up the stairs. I, I go up the pyramid. I was terrified. I'm terrified of heights. So just beautiful people, beautiful people here who have really supported me to see what they know is valuable to them. You have a big treasure here. Thank you so much. What about the Egyptian Museum? Oh, I love... I, I walked in and I'm being t uh, shown the, the special parts, uh, particularly the, the masterpieces. Um, I've had basically a history lesson from Dina there. Where is she? Your guide. Yeah, my guide. Oh, she's been... She's so knowledgeable. She says she has a bachelor's in uh, Egypt... Egyptology. Egyptology. And she's perfect. So I've learned a lot. I, I'm sure any person who comes here and misses going to see the Sphinx or going through the museum, uh, going through the museum, misses a lot. I'm now looking to, to go to Luxor. It is. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I want to go to Luxor. <laughs> yeah. And I've learned one word. Shak. Shokran. Shokran. <laughs> that yeah. means thank you, by the way. Yes. Yeah. So what about uh, King Aten Aton or King Tot and Hamon? Have you seen their treasures yet? Yes, um, but through a tour in Canada. All right. So now I'm here to see it in person. All right. Yes. You came to see the real thing. I came to see the real thing. So um, Dina is going to take me there shortly after this. Where will you go from here? Uh, from here, I'm going to, to Entebbe, then Nairobi, Kenya, and then coming back to go to Luxor. All right. So you'll make a cruise on the Nile? I'm hoping... If Dina's doing her perfect magic, I'm sure I'll be there. I'll be there. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Dina. Dina, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Hope to see you again in Egypt. Yes, I'd love to come. And I'm going to encourage everybody to come, to fly Egypt Air and to come to Egypt. <laughs> Thank you so much. Shukran. Shukran. Have fun. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. The northern wall of the tomb has hunting scenes shaving and yarn making of linen. Girls and women had their share in the tomb and hence in the real life back then. Some of them are shown playing with the ball while others play acrobat. They are distinctive with their lovely dresses and hairstyles and great shape. Shepherds and taxes collectors are here too for a great importance was given to the payment of taxes, especially in a big estate like that owned by Bucket. Those who didn't pay got punished. Law must be obeyed and rules must be followed so that justice may prevail and